Hello everyone and welcome to a very quick e early evening episode of the Six Smeargle Challenge. I just got home from work and um, I uh, just wanted to make a quick recording of this because the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go up north to the Lake of Rage and I'm going to grab the black belt from Wesley. I am going to leave... let's see, so... Picasso, Frida, and Van Gogh are the big three right now. Um, I'm going to leave Picasso up, up ahead, because he's actually doing pretty good. I, you know, back, back a, a, a little while ago, back at Olivine Lighthouse, Picasso was lagging behind at level 23, and he was getting beat to heck, but now, I have to admire him being level... 28 now, and actually just being able to crush so many, like, so many more Pokemon than he used to be able to. I mean, he's, he's doing fantastically, he really is. He's, he's come a long way, and I'm, I am absolutely, uh, you know, I, I am, I am absolutely... Uh, surprised and very, very grateful for, for how, you know, for how far he's come. It's been, it's been a, it's always a pleasure watching him grow up. Sometimes it can be a little tough. Sometimes you take the tough hits. But, um, you know, I, uh, I liked seeing him. I liked seeing him, you know, get shit done. And, um... I liked seeing him, you know... Like, I, I know I get kind of miffed when they faint, but... I, I like being able to see him gain the levels, and... It's, you know... It gives me a little... Gives me a little tinge of pride, you know. It's tough to say that, but it, it does give me a little tinge of pride. Eventually, we're gonna have to face off against that big Gyarados there, which is gonna be really tough to do. But we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done like we always do. I'll probably face off against it after I've faced off against, um, after I've faced off against Jasmine. And yeah, I'm still thinking about going Jasmine first in this case. I also wanted to see if I could get a little bit of grinding done after work, because I've got, I actually, um, I, um, uh, shoot pool in a, uh, in a pool league where I'm at. And, um, I'm actually the captain of my team on Wednesdays, so that's where some of my pool content comes from. Right now, uh, I'm waiting until my next paycheck, and I'm basically gonna buy, like, a, I'm basically gonna buy, like, a digital level. Like a level with, like a, like a, like a, you know, like a leveling device with a, with a, um, digital readout so I can get my home pool table actually leveled out completely. There's Wesley. Well, how do you do? Seeing as how it's Wednesday today, I'm Wesley of Wednesday. Pleased to meet you. Please take a souvenir. Fantastic. This is going to be great. Alright. But yeah, so that's kind of... Yeah, I was going to say, so... Uh, when I get my table leveled out, you can expect more pool content, but I also like just, you know, I like doing this little challenge. It's, it's, it's fun. It makes it very, it makes it very interesting. Uh, I think I'm gonna give that to... I'm gonna give the black belt to, uh... I'm gonna give it to Van Gogh, because he's got the low kick right now. But I think, um, I think, again, like I said, I think Picasso's gonna get the jump kick. I 
and then we're gonna see if um, Van Gogh can get the Iron Tail. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with that. Right now, I'm just gonna try and raise Picasso and some of the birds out here. See if I can get him to level 31. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, most of these birds are really just kind of crap. I mean, Farfetch'd and Pidgeotto are gonna go down in two uh, two rock throw hits. You know, I want to see if I could maybe get out onto the lake and see if I could find more Gyarados. Because I got one the other evening, which that was a lot of EXP beating that Gyarados. That was impressive. As I say, I was absolutely beside myself when I beat it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, that far-fetched last, last battle used sand attack, and apparently it's affecting Picasso's accuracy in this battle. What do you say? Because he misses twice on friggin, uh, he misses twice on Rock's rock throw. Like, just, how do you, how do you miss twice? On a rock throw. I mean, I think it's like a 90% accuracy rate, so, you know, it just kind of gets me, kind of gets the old brain wondering there. I do want to see if I can get another Gyarados. Nope, just a magic card. defeat the Magikarp out there and still be okay. Let's see what we get. Another Magikarp. Eh, I'm not really... Eh. That's okay. I wonder how much Shadow Ball will do to, a, to, to, do to a Magikarp. Hmm, it's not bad. Try to use Splash. Uh, I wonder how much a Poison Stick will do. Almost. Tackle. That's a crit, is 3 damage. That's funny. And then I crit in return, that's, that's really hilarious. I wonder how many Magikarp it would take if I found all those. 42 stats. 67, so two more Magikarp, really. In all honesty, two more Magikarp, and if I get a Gyarados, this is gonna be hilarious. Nope, another Magikarp. Oh, this one's 18. Okay. I might have to Shadow Ball it twice then. So it is up to 29, 30, 34, 29, 43, and 60. Not bad, okay, so he's he's got more stats than his, uh... Oh yeah, I was also gonna check the, um... Oh, there's the little dot beside the name. There's the dot. There's the dot. There's the dot. There's the dot. And there's the dot. So everybody's already healed from Pokerus. Except the ones that I have in my box, if I'm correct. Let me go down this way. Evade this. Hey Tully, what's 
So, the cool fish is growing here, so there's a little bit of 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 a little Again, the man gets water stones. It, it's, it's fine. I'm fine with him ranting to me if he gets me water stones. Actually, I just needed the one because that's, um, that's how you get through another entrance to, um, That's how you get through another entrance to Ruins of Alf. Um, another one of those back doors is you have to use a water stone in the, uh, in the cave, which... Let me take a look for the move here. Take a look here. Bob Ross didn't get it, did he? Okay. Zubat still has it, and Oddish still has it. Okay. Zubat and Oddish both still have it. So, I can still... It moves around sometimes, it must be close to hatching. I could probably even hatch this egg. I could probably even hatch the Togepi. And give it Pokey Rust before it even starts. Which is hilarious. I just want Zubat and Oddish to maintain that status of Pokey Russ. Because eventually we're going to try and infect everybody. We've already infected everybody, technically. Now, in the other games, it used to be a little smiley face next to the... It used to be this weird little smiley face next to the... Next to the thing, I think in Crystal they reduced it to a dot. But... So that is, uh... You know what? I'm thinking about going down to Union again. In all honesty. Because I want to crunch some people down in Union Cave. I want to see if I can crunch people down in Union Because they crunched me initially, and I think it's time I crunched back. I think it's about time we cracked back at them. My smeargles aren't going to take that kind of abuse and live with it. Miracles aren't going to take that kind of abuse and live with it. We're going to come after you, you friggin' buggers. Let's try a rock I mean, obviously it's going to kill it. Whatever I use is going to kill it, but... I mean, it's a snake. It's a level 34 snake. Sorry for the yawn. Work was long and exhausting today, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of recording in while I'm here. But I'm gonna stop, please. Stupid freaking snakes. Alright, hang on a minute. I just gotta be able to get to you.
lot of trainers in Union Cave. And Union Cave goes much deeper than it should. For all accounts. But I'm not going to have my smear goals battered about by some stupid trainer with a friggin' self-destructing Geodude and a Machop again. That Machop could have cost me the whole damn game. Well, not that drastic, but he could have cost me a lot there. That Machop could have friggin' taken me out. That was just unbelievable. Supposedly, a couple of trainers down in the basement second floor of this that actually are really, really good, if I'm correct. Sorry if that kind of zoned out for a minute there, a little bit of dead air. Um, I had to go take care of something right quick. But, um... Let's see, we have that stupid fucking hiker up here that almost annihilated us. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's another one. Of course there's another one. Oh, and you need strength. Of course you do. Cost me more than half my health. Let's see. 51. Oh, he's gonna use self-destruct. Okay, so I'm not gonna get any of his HPs. 
I'm not gonna get any of his EXP, am I? No, I am not. Of course not. You dumbass. Why'd you friggin' self-destruct on me, you dumbass? God almighty. Friggin' A. These friggin' hikers with self-destruct really friggin' annoy me. Oh, this guy's a psychic, isn't he? Actually, that'd be hilarious. Take him, Picasso. Mm -mm. This is a strange place. Yeah, no kidding, right? Oh, wait, crap. Picasso can't take him. Because Giraffe Rig is normal, isn't he? Shadow Ball's not gonna affect it, is it? Is Giraffe Rig normal and psychic? Cause that's gonna be really stupid. Giraffe Rig is both normal and psychic, so Shadow Ball is not going to affect it. We got the poison though, that'll work. Agility to boost its speed. <sighs> Can use confusion. Okay. I anticipated that. Speed's gonna go up again. Okay. Hurt my poison again. It's fine. Picasso might actually be able to get this guy. Use Growl to cut my attack. Rock Thor isn't going to do much, but I'm not worried about Rock Thor not doing much. I'm worried about the, um... I'm worried about the, uh... Oh wow, and he fucking crits me. Of course he does. Oh my god. Wow. He's gonna use confusion again, of course he is. So Picasso is gonna go down. You fucking dumbass using agility, god damn it. Not just tackle the thing, finish it off. Please don't suck at the confusion, is actually gonna confuse Van Gogh this time. No, it's not, because the poison is gonna take effect anyways. 829? Yeah, that's right, just dot dot dot. No items. This is also the place where you natively encounter Smeargles. This is the one with Ho-Oh. Oh dear lordy. Which, it's also gonna be Ho-Oh, isn't it? I'm gonna finish this puzzle because I'm not going back through that ruin. Should be right up here. Should be right there. Wings raised in victory. Right here. Their depiction of Ho-Oh was Say that. The depiction of Ho-Ho is strangely interesting. Yeah, and then of course I gotta do this all again. 
I just wanted to see what it said about it. Which, because the thing about, because the thing about Ho Ho is, or at least this depiction of Ho Ho, actually, it looks like if you take a look at the body down there, it looks very strangely. It looks strangely almost like Zatu. If you take a look at the, see. Take a look with me at that middle section of the body. To me, that looks like Zatu. At least to me. I, I don't know how anyone else feels about that, but to me, that looks like Zatu. But, as it stands, that is supposedly a Ho O. Or at least their depiction of Ho O. Which, you have to literally bring Ho-Oh into that room. That's what you have to do with that, is... You have to bring Ho-Oh into that room. The other side is... I think you have to use strength in there. Anyway. Let me see if I can go down to the basement second floor, and see if I can raise my guys in there a little bit. Because the thing about that is Frida could actually get confused Ray if she went down there. That would be the other side of this story, is that Frida could actually get confused Ray. findings in a real battle. Real. Real. Okay, what's what's real for you, buddy? Calvin. Oh shit, that's massive. Okay, yeah, that's pretty big. Come on. Yes. The stun spore worked. It's gonna use Leer. How much is a water gun even gonna do here? Here. Not a lot. Oh gosh. It knows Mega Punch. Okay. I'll tell you what, um... Van Gogh, get out here. I could probably use Milk Drink, but it's not gonna do me any good. This asshole, man. And Mega Punch does like friggin'... Wow. Can I outspeed it? I think I can. Wow, that's what a low kick will do. But it did flinch. Try it again. Can get another hit. Yep. Fully paralyzed. Okay, I'll take that. Oh gosh, I missed. And he used Mega Punch. This dumbass right here. All right, that's it. That's it. All right, you're gonna you're gonna do this. All right, tomorrow. Give it a sand attack. Start off with a sand attack. Let's. Let's see if we can make it miss Mega Punch by a lot here. It's gonna try and drop with Leer. Sand attack again. Come on, you're gonna be missing every Mega Punch you take. Fully paralyzed, sand attack again. Three up. Come on. 
Mega Punch and you're gonna miss. Sand Attack again, number four, come on. Keep missing that Mega Punch, kid. Fully Paralyzed, Headbutt, come on. Flinched, oh yeah. Just missing, par paralysis, flinching, missing. Yeah, you're, you're, you're done, kid. This is why I like Stun Spore and friggin, um... Come on, you're not gonna kill her. No, you're not. This is why I like flinching, paralysis, and friggin, um... This is why I like flinching, paralysis, and sand attack, because it misses, it's paralyzed, or it flinches. A and it's over. And now it's over. And tomorrow's actually gonna get actually tomorrow's gonna get a level. Freed up, I think almost got a level. Tomorrow's gonna go up a level, that's gonna be 24, 35, 19, 32, and 50. Alright. Her attack has actually been going up fairly regularly. I'm impressed by her. But as it stands, we just beat a guy with a Kangas gun. You demonstrated on me. Oh absolutely I did. I mean, that's in theory. Alright, now. Elixir, yeah, I'll take that. Now, there are some good users down here. I probably could have tried to grab Mega Punch because it's really dang good. Oh, that's right. The Zubat down here. Zubat down here, no confuse ray. Could he use a leech life? I could probably use the Zubat down here and actually have some interesting fights. Stun Spore. Got it. Water gun. Alright, let's take a shot out and see how much it does. Oh, it does not do a lot. Bite also doesn't do a lot, and I can just use Milk Drink and get my HP back, like, a lot. Alright, it's gonna be about seven or eight water guns here. It's gonna try and use Supersonic first, of course it is. Beach Life. Water gun. They're gonna be slow battles, obviously, but... There's a confused ray. Man, I really wish I could be I was able to sketch that. Oh come on. Oh my god. Come on, Frida. Please, Frida. Fingers crossed. No print worked. Alright, I'll take it. Ding. Yeah, what are gonna get? All right. Wow, and a crit. All right, that works. Fully paralyzed. Another water gun. Come on now. Take it down. Two more. One more water gun. Should be it. Kaboom. How much are we gonna get for a stupid level 22 Zubat? 169. Of course we are. Yep. It's gonna be the gold bat that we're gonna want. Frida's not going to gain much. Um, let me try Picasso. I'm curious. I'm curious what Picasso can do at this point. If he doesn't get confused. Of course he gets confused. Come on, Shadow Ball. Heck yeah. Wow. Picasso can really drop. Okay. Oh, please.
assuming the stairs aren't like right in front of the guy. They're gonna be right in front of the guy. Right there. Tentacle level 19. Okay. I guess we're doing switch training on Frida again, huh? Acid, wow. That's a hell of a hit. Damn. Shadow Ball again. Let's see how you do, Picasso. Wow, that's nice. Got to level 27, alright. Free to get to 27, so that's 23, 30, 20, 33, and 51. Alright, that works. Picasso getting down to 41. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the stairs are right. Actually, I could probably. Could I go around him? I think I can. I think I can technically go around him. Yes, I can. I can technically go around him. That's, that's, that's hilarious. That's fun -larious. Oh my word. Onyx level 23, alright, let's see if we got it. First off, let's see if we can get a stun score. Got it down. Got the paralyze. Let's get a water gun in there. Probably gonna take two or three water, probably gonna take three water guns is my guess. Yeah, three. I thought so. Three water guns, that'll work. will do it. Okay, it's fine by me. I mean, a level 23 Onyx is going to be a lot of the XP. Frida is right by mind. For 4 HP. Water gun. Please take it down. Nice shot, Frida. Fantastic. 354, that's what I'm talking about. That's some nice XP right there. Paper potion, very nice. Alright, so let's see, I can find my way back around him. Oh, come on. Geodude, okay, I'll take that. Level 20, nice. This'll be some good EXP for Frida. Frida, use a water gun. Almost. Not bad, Frida, not bad. Another one? Yeah, that's fantastic. Here we go. That'll work. 245. Nice. Still getting it big. Still hitting it big. Alright, let's see. Oh my word. It's the big one. It's the big in. Picasso? Get out here and get some rock throws. Take this thing down. He's gonna use supersonic. Of course he is. Of course he's gonna use supersonic. God damn it. If I get beat by a gold bat, this is gonna be depressing. Oh yeah. That's the hit I'm talking about. Take him down to half. Wow. That was a critical there? Jeez. Well. Come on. Yes, nicely done, Picasso. Can you finish him off? Not quite. Not quite. Alright, Picasso. Give him a Shadow Ball. Come on. Nice finish, Picasso. 267 each. Picasso could really get to 31 in here. He really could. Frida. Oh man, this this is gonna be funny. 
I'm curious how much water gun will do to this level 20. I think he's level 20. That's not much. But I'm okay with it. He's gonna be fully paralyzed for a while. He's gonna try and he's gonna miss a few things. At least I'm pretty sure he's gonna miss a few things. Nine water guns ought to be able to finish it off. Wow. He's having a lot of trouble with this paralysis thing. He is. The scary face is gonna drop my speed, but that's not gonna matter. You're, you're, you can use quick attack, yeah, but... I mean... Yeah, you can still lead with quick attack, because it takes plus one priority. But... You're still not... Your, your speed is still a quarter of what it used to be. Using scary face all the way down on me is not gonna work. Like, you can scary face me all the way down, and you're still not gonna... You're still not gonna beat me in the speed fight here. There we go. Fully paralyzed, another water gun. This is great. This is fantastic. Just fully paralyzing Eradicate, you know, and he still can't take you down. I'm trying everything in his power and he still can't take you down. Water guns to heck. Water guns all the way down. 348, that's what I'm talking about. Nice shot, Frida. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit. What does she have? Oh jeez. She's got one thing. What does she have? Oh jeez. What does she have? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That just, that just worries me. That just absolutely worries me. One Pokemon. Let's see what she's got. She's a Poliwhirl. Okay. Having Freed out initially actually might be good for this. Flame Dance. The downpour started. Yes, we got the Paralyze. Picasso, switch in. Fully paralyzed, rain continues to fall. Shadow Ball. Let's try it. That's not a bad hit. Hypnosis isn't gonna work. Shadow Ball again. Keep doing it. Come on, keep going. Water gun's gonna hit and it's gonna be powered up by rain dance, so it's gonna really hurt. Come on. Shadow Ball again. Come on, buddy. You can get him down. Water gun again. Picasso's gonna try and deal enough of the damage. Picasso's gonna try and be our little spoiler of damage here. Picasso might actually get this. Shadow Ball, and I think we have it. We have it. That was very nicely done. Freedom and Picasso, 390. That was very well handled, guys. I'd rather pet my babies than this. Just once a week a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. I wanted to see that Pokemon. Yeah, no kidding. It's actually gonna be here... soon? It's actually gonna be here soon. Pretty soon. Uh, although I'm not gonna try and catch it. It would be cool, but I'm not gonna try and catch it. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna... Wow. Good lordy. I think I'm gonna put George in. I'm gonna put George in, electrocute this tentacle, and I wanna see if Frida can actually get the, uh... Just please don't poison her. Thank you. Thunderbolt. Zappa, 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 zappa. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Oh boy. Supersonic didn't affect. Alright, let's finish off. Let's finish that one out. Kaboom. Frida got to 28. That's what I'm talking about, babe. 24. 32. 21, 35, and 50, oop, hang on, 35, 
35 and 53. Very nice. Very nice, Miss Frida. Fantastic. And then I think I'm going to lead Georgia from here on out. At least until we get back up to the surface again. Pack. I mean, I have some stuff. I have a couple of super potions here that I could use. Actually, yeah, why not? Get Picasso up. And let's get tomorrow all the way back up again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Now, where is that Lapras actually in this water? I thought it, like, dropped, like, a special item or something like that, but anyway, whatever it is. We'll go ahead and leave Georgia up at the front. She needs some levels anyways. And the Zubat here are easy targets for Thunderbolt. Like, really easy targets for Thunderbolt. Kaboom. Oh yeah, that'll do. Oh, and then that Zubat uses Confuse Ray. Frida, you really need Confuse Ray. Alright, let's see. So Van Gogh's at 27, Picasso's at 29, and Frida... See, I would have thought that Picasso, of all Pokemon... I would have thought that Picasso, of all Pokemon, would get there last. But it seems like he's actually doing good enough to get there first. Van Gogh may actually be the last one to get to 31. Oh boy. Onyx. Let's switch out for Frida. Let's switch out for Frida. Because Frida's gonna need some EXP here, which is nice. Fine, that's okay. We've got plenty of milk drink left. Let's see how many of those we need. Frida at level 28 might actually be able to beat this. Frida at level 28 can beat this in two water guns. This is fine. This is fantastic. 43 to 39, and water gun. Split, guys. Nice split. Alright. Yep. Not even gonna challenge that trainer there. I don't wanna challenge those other cool trainers, though, because I think they've got good Pokemon, and I wanna be able to spare them. I wanna save some good Pokemon, you know? You can't always... You can't always, uh, waste all the good ones immediately, can you? this way, and pop out at the ruins of Alf. That'll be fine, right? That should work. Yeah, that'll work. Hang on. Let's get on the bike, and roll on out. Be able to take it out. There we go. 
again. Not a lot of XP, but just looking to take it out at that point. Okay. <sighs> Back up to Violet City. Oh, it's turned to night. Hello. Didn't realize it turned to night. It must have just turned to night. Paralyzed Cure Berry. Oh, that's right. Berries. I can go back south and get enough berries to, to heal up the mill tank on the Moo Moo farm. That's fantastic. Alright. Let me go back south and pick up a couple berries and I'll come right back up. And that'll be all. That'll be all for the episode. Actually, I might go all the way over and heal the mill tank, but... Just because that's... Oops. Thank you, Oak. Just because, like, I really want to see that mill tank healed. That mill tank is so nice, and I, I want to see it better. I want to see it get better. Let's get a let's let's help a mill tank get better. Let's heal up a mill tank tonight, guys. Come on, we gotta heal us up a mill tank. Gotta make the moo cow better. It's a berry. I'm pretty sure it's seven berries to to treat the thing, but. I can go further south and grab another one, just to be sure. I can grab eight. Ah, oh, crap. I can go and get another berry. It'll be fine. Hoot hoot. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Come on. Come on, guy. You don't get in my way. We're trying to heal a cow. trying to avoid as many encounters as possible because I really want to get to this mill tank. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Out of my way. Out of my way, guys. Gotta take the shortcut. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Alright, up here. Up and through. Ah, come on now. Come on now, guys. Don't do this to me. Come on, come on, come on. Lots of berries. Okay. Mumu is sick. She needs. Okay, so they both say the same thing. Alright. Uh... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to say you gotta talk to them first. They're gonna be like, oh, our prized cow won't be able to. Our milk even goes to Kanto. So if, you own... so if our own milk tank will give us any milk, we're in trouble. Uh oh. Dang. My milk tank can't give me milk no more. This here farm's got some famous milk. Most everyone wants to drink. It'll give me lots of milk up and I'll feed it lots of bears, I reckon. Alright, well. Let's... Let's help you get better, buddy. Uh, yep. Number one. Number two. Number three. Milk tank becoming a little healthier. Nice. Let's cry as weak. Get the ready milk tank. Yep. Number four. 
Number five, quite healthy. Quite healthy, come on. Number six, number seven. Did I not, did I not have enough berries? Wait a minute, there's another tree around here, isn't there? Well, that one has the mint berry, but there's another tree that does have a normal berry. And I've got to remember where it is, is the thing. I don't remember where it is. Now it gives Moomoo Milk again. Here's something for your trouble. TM13. Awesome. That there snore. It's a rare move that only works while the Pokemon is asleep. You best think how you ought to use it, huh? Alright. How'd you like my Moomoo Milk? It's my pride and joy there. Give it to Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it to you for just 500 Pokebucks. There you go. Drink it up and enjoy. Alright. Let's see how much it heals. I think it's like a hundred. Is, is it a hundred or is it a... Let me take a look. Yeah, it's a hundred. Which... It, it's a little bit less than a hyper... I mean, it's half of a hyper potion, but you're also buying it for half the price of a hyper potion. You're also buying it for less cost than a super potion. Uh, you're also, you can also buy fresh water that heals a Pokemon's HP by, I think, 60, which might be ideal, so I might have to go to the Goldenrod department store and see if I can buy those. But, yeah. I'm back at Olivine now. I could probably start taking out Pokemon on the actual ocean if I wanted to. The problem is Frida isn't going to get a lot of EXP. I'm probably going to have to take her back to Union Cave and start beating down on some things. Anyway. Anyway, but for now, uh, this is where I'm going to cut it. And, um, yeah, thanks for sticking around with me um, for a little quick session. Um, I will see y'all in the next one. Um, oh, and by the way, if you, obviously, if you... Um, 
like the uh, if you like the content, um, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, uh, leave a comment. There's more coming, and um, thanks for joining me for this quick little evening session. I'll probably be back later, but for now, bye bye.